Hello, 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 everybody. How are we doing today? Go ahead and drop the box in the chat box how you guys are feeling. I need all the energy today, that's for sure. Perfect, perfect. Feeling blessed, feeling right. Beautiful, me too. So before we start off, I just want you guys to drop something that you are grateful for today, something that you're excited about, um, and then we can get the show on the road. What are y'all grateful for? Grateful for the food I ate. I'm excited for the gems. Girl, me too. You guys are not ready. Grateful for this guest speaker. Amen. Me too. Excited to hear these gems. Yep. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. Alrighty. So I am personally grateful to be hosting this call today. I'm so, so, so excited for our guest speaker. I've been watching her for quite some time right now. Um, I actually heard of Mars one day in February. I remember it was the late at night. Um, and she was hosting a call. I didn't even know who sent the link. I just clicked it. I wasn't even going to hop on. But as soon as I hopped on, the energy that she had, she just came like she was a boss. And little did I know that she had only started maybe like three or four months back at that time. And she was just over here dropping gems, you know, doing her thing, looking like she really knew what she was talking about. And so after that, I was just like hooked. I still have the notes from that call and I actually sent her a screenshot of them probably like a month or two ago. I was like, girl, I've been watching you for some time now. Like, look at these notes that I still have. I still look back at them every now and then because they are just so relevant and she just has what I need. Um, and after that, I ended up finding out that she was a Pisces like me. And then, uh, you know, she's just a boss. She loves to travel. She actually has a podcast with her best friend. So for all my ladies out there, if y'all want a good podcast to listen to, uh, you know, it's a little bestie vibes out there. Her and her um, bestie L.A are killing the game, doing what they do best. Um, but you guys, I'm just so excited. This girl really has the gems. And when I say that she takes everything like it is hers, like she owns it, like it's already done, I mean that, you guys. If you guys go look at her page, you guys would think she was already Chairwoman 750. So y'all already know she got it going on. So if you guys don't know her by now, you will from this day forward. Um, and then we will go ahead and drop her Instagram. Um, but you guys take notes. I already have my notebook out, my pen out. And I'll be right here with you guys. But let's go ahead and show her the respect and the attention that she deserves. Because she did not have to do this for me at all. But she was like, I got you on anything that you need. And so she's here today taking you know, the time. So let's go ahead and make sure we give the most respect notebooks out pens out and like ray said today in his personal development call this morning note takers are money makers but appliers create their desires so if you guys aren't going to apply the notes that she's you know about to drop for you guys y'all need to fix up but without further ado mars thank you so much and the floor is yours Thank you, girl. I really appreciate it. I'm super excited to be here on this call today. And I'm very grateful um, to you for letting me come on here and just speak some um, words of wisdom to your team. I'm very grateful, you know, to be able to share what I know with other people and impact some people. But before I go ahead and get started, you know, there are 56 people on this call. And before I share any information with you guys, I just got to make sure that we're all comfortable here because you know, this business, I'm sure a lot of you can say that people who were strangers turn into family. So I'm gonna need you guys to all turn your cameras on. I don't care if you're in your car, I don't care if you're laying down. If you're gonna be on a call with me, I need to see faces, I need to see energy, right? Because I need to see how you're reacting. I need to see if you're really taking notes, all right? Like she just said, note takers are money makers and I love that quote, appliers create their desires, that's awesome. So let's just go ahead and turn our cameras on. I want you guys to be with me here in the moment. You know, if you got on this call just to show your name and just be like, oh yeah, I'm on the call, I'm on the call. Nah, like you can hop off. I want everybody to take this information seriously. You know, I want you guys to take these notes in. Um, 
I'm just super happy and grateful to be here. You know, a little bit about me. I started, um, I actually got started in my journey about a month and like a, a month, a month, a year, <laughs> a year and a month now. Right. And um, when I started, I was 20 years old. Everybody go ahead and drop their age in the chat. I want to see what we're working with tonight. Right. <laughs> Um, cool. 28, 22, 22, 20, 23, 19. Okay, sis. All right. 20. Perfect. Perfect. So I actually got started when I was 20 years old and I was going to college. I was living in Miami, um, with LA with another roommate. I was going to college and, um, I actually got started from a social media post. And I think a lot of us can relate. We all got probably got started because of a friend or because of a social media post. And from then on, I started meeting like a lot of people who changed my life. Um, such as, you know, Manny Quinones, who is one of the top educators in the academy. He's, you know, that's my chairman upline, as well as Josh and Rico, who were literally a P150 when I met them, and now they're chairman. So being able to see people have results right in front of me just shows me that I'm locked in forever. Like, honestly, guys, if you're not in, if you're not, if you're halfway in right now, then why are you in at all? That's the question. Like, you don't come in this business to make extra money. You come in this business to set yourself financially free. So if you're halfway in, then expect halfway results. If you want, you know, to financially set yourself and your family free, then you're going to have to go all in. You're going to have to believe in this. You're going to have to put in that effort, right? And it all starts with that belief. But back to my story, guys, um, I got started in at first. I still, I didn't even really understand what this was. It wasn't as popular as it is today. I thought that I was literally giving my, my money to somebody else to trade it for me. Didn't know if I trusted it, but I had a lot of vision. Right. And actually, when I started within my first week, I literally blew like five hundred dollars. I blew my trading account <laughs> um, from signals and everything. And you think a lot of people would a lot of people lose four or five bucks and they're ready to quit. I lost five hundred dollars and I was a college student. That was a lot of money to me. And I still didn't give up, guys, because I understood like, OK, even though I lost money, I still lost money from something that I did on my phone. Right. So I was like, I can make this money back. And we all know that you have to be willing to lose in order to gain. If you're not willing to lose anything, then that means that you have a scare, you have scarcity, a scarcity mindset. All right. When you have a scarcity mindset and you're trying to hold on to everything, um, you know, that means you're not willing to accept more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I want to tell you guys a little bit about my journey before we get into today's, into today's training, but this is my Instagram at it's the real Mars. Um, I hope you guys can get connected with me and something that I really preach to everybody on my team is social media is key guys. We're all connected through social media. There's millions, millions of people on Instagram, on Facebook, Facebook, on YouTube. So definitely put yourself out there. Get out of your comfort zone. You know, I always tell people to get out their comfort zone because a lot of people, you guys like want to be perfect on social media, but that's not the case. Just post something like perfection is a killer of progress. You just want to post stuff and you're going to eventually get better. So literally my journey started. Um, I met Manny Quinones, you know, he's a chairman, uh, chairman, I'm sorry, chairman, um, he just hit, is he a chairman 100? I don't know, guys, he's a chairman 100 in my eyes, we're gonna get him there, he's very close to it, um, the way he carries himself is amazing, and he's just a testament that you could be a, a trader and a chairman, right, and a lot of people like to say, oh, I'm a trader, oh, I'm a builder, no, you might as well do both, because, you know, how many streams of income does the average millionaire have, can somebody tell me in the chat box? Seven right? We all, we all know that the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So why are you limiting yourself to one stream from trading, right? So that's what I like to think about it as within I Am Academy, we have so many different opportunities, right? Um, from starting this, you know, I was able to quit my job in my second month. I went to Mexico in December. I, I've been to every single convention that ever existed since I started this. I sacrificed a lot. A lot of people will be like, oh, um, I can't go to convention because of work or I can't go to convention because of this. Guys, I've literally, I'm going to another convention in, in Houston this month on my last dollar. A lot of people aren't willing to go on their last dollar to go on a trip, but it's worth it because you meet influential people. Like this is the chairman 250. This is Bryce when he was chairman 250. Like I met a lot of people, Alex Morton guys, being able to go in person and meet these people and ask questions that you, that you have is really amazing, right? I went to Costa Rica. After that, I went to London. London convention was amazing. I did not ever think that I would have the money to travel to London, but you can't think about the money. Like you literally got to think of how am I going to get there? Don't think about, don't think about, I can get there. You got to ask yourself, how am I going to get there? And going to London, you know, Bob Proctor was there as well. They had um, the world's 
number one um, cash owned billionaire. Like there is a billionaire on the stage, guys. I was able to meet so many, so many people who have impacted me and ask some questions that I had and make connections. And to this day, guys, understand that you meeting a chairman at a convention at a big event, they're going to notice you. They're going to be like, oh, shoot, like this person is really dedicated because they know the people who are dedicating their time to come out to conventions and everything are people who are dedicated to, to their success. So after I went to London, I went to New York. That got canceled because of COVID. Still went, right? And then after New York, we went to California. Now I'm going to be going to Houston. I'm going to go to Arizona. So there's a lot of things planned. And trust me, guys, the reason why I started succeeding is personal development, right? The first book I started reading was Think and Grow Rich. And that's when I realized you really can't think about money as if money doesn't come to you. If you're constantly like worried about not being able to pay your bills, I know it's real world problems, but guys, understand that if you're constantly worried about not being able to pay your bills, guess what? You're on day one out of day 30 in the month and you're stressing out about paying your bills. Like you're taking day one and it's 30 days away. Like you might as well have some faith that you're going to pay that bill. If you're the person that's stressing out for the whole entire month, right? Then guess what? Your life is going to be living hell every single day because you're going to be full of worry, anxiety, fear, right? You might as well tell yourself, you know, sometimes it takes you lying to yourself for you to have a better lifestyle. Sometimes it takes you saying, you know what, I have no idea how I'm going to get this money, but I know that I'm going to be able to pay for this. I know I'm going to be able to go to this trip. I know I'm going to be able to pay my rent, right? Sometimes it takes you lying to yourself to actually make your lifestyle get better. Now, I want to go ahead and get into this training and I want, I want you guys to participate with me, right? So I want you guys to go ahead and type in the chat box some traits that successful people have. Consistency, confidence, discipline, ambition, okay, patience, dedication, sacrifice. All right, I want you guys to write these traits down, the traits of what a successful person has, determination, hunger, self-discipline, character, okay. Anything else? All right, I can name a few guys. So, you know, consistency was definitely one, having vision, having a routine, having a strong work ethic, having coachability is very important. Um, you know, having a drive, having passion, having faith, motivation. Someone said perse perseverance, character, self-discipline, hunger, right? These are all traits that successful people have and they're composed of great qualities. So when you're thinking of your favorite people, millionaires, billionaires, they have these great qualities. Now I want you guys to name some traits that unsuccessful people have. Worries, yup. Lazy, laziness, uh huh. Self limiting beliefs for sure. Doubt, procrastination, fear, excuses, yup. Excuses sound best to the ones that make them, guys. Procrastination, uh huh. Inconsistent, fear, not coachable, self doubt, unwilling to learn, no vision, lack of drive. Exactly. Like we all know what traits unsuccessful people have right? You procrastinate, you're unorganized, you have excuses, you're lazy, you don't want to wake up, you have no time management, you have unwillingness to learn, you don't want to listen to your mentors, you don't want to, you don't want to take out at least one hour a day to put into your business, you're negative, you're closed minded, you have no vision. These are people who are not all the way in. Now what I want you guys to do is with the traits that you wrote down for successful and unsuccessful people, I want you, right? Because nobody else can tell you what you are, but you know exactly what traits you have. And I want you to identify with yourself what qualities that you have right now. Every day when you wake up and your feet touch the ground, what qualities do you have? Did you wake up lazy? Did you wake up not knowing what you have planned for that day? Are you unorganized? Are you procrastinating? Are you fear, uh, fearful? Are you not hopping on calls? I want you guys to personally make an assessment of yourself and determine what qualities you have. And then from there, I want you guys to realize that your life is a sum total of all your decisions. All right. If you have a poor life mentality, you know, physically, financially, spiritually, it's all because of the decisions that you make, all right? You know, we all say, oh, um, all these millionaires, right? We're like, oh, he's a self-made millionaire. He's a self-made, she's a self-made millionaire, et cetera, et cetera, right? No one ever says I'm self-made broke, but it's literally the same thing. The, the, the decisions that we've made make us who we are. So when people say they're a self-made millionaire, obviously you're like, okay, cool. They have all those traits that we talked about that successful people have, but nobody ever says them self-made broke because they're ashamed of the qualities that they have. Now, remember that the, the, what you practice in private will be celebrated in public. 
So whatever you're doing behind the scenes is going to show through your results is going to show, trust me, because the people who are ranking up, the people who are making money trading, you know that they're taking extra time out their day to study. You know, they're taking extra time out their day to go trade and practice and put trades in or taking time out of their day to go prospect or post on social media or make connections. These are things that nobody sees you doing, but you're going to get celebrated in public for it because you're doing it behind the scenes. So I need you guys to really like take an assessment of yourself and ask yourself, do I want to be successful? And if I want to be successful, am I showing up as that successful person every single day? We have to start duplicating what successful people do, guys. So understand, like, you can't consume your mind with things like music and drama. And I don't know, like these, like, understand, guys, that I had to, I challenged myself to not listen to music for 30 days. It's like, what are you willing to sacrifice? If you're not willing to sacrifice what you have, then what you want will be sacrificed. If right now you're not willing to sacrifice not listening to music, if you're not willing to sacrifice being around toxic friends, if you're not willing to sacrifice smoking and drinking, then guess what? In the future, your future, far, your future car is going to be sacrificed. Your future house is going to be sacrificed. That house that you want to buy your mom is going to be sacrificed. You have to start now. All right, don't wait. A lot of people, I already heard somebody tell me like, oh yeah, 2021 is my year. I'm like, girl, you said 2020 was your year. 2020 is still not even over yet. So just because we have like, what, three, four months left, people are already jumping to 2021. Like how many times are you going to tell yourself that this time is my year? I'm literally sick and tired of hearing people say, oh yeah, this is my year. This is my year. This is still your year. There's four months. A lot of things can happen in four months. All right. A lot of things can happen in four months. You can still hit six figures in your trading account. You can still hit chairman in, in four months. It doesn't matter if you're a P150 right now. You just have to have the vision that something is coming. You have to have really 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 big vision okay if you're unranked right now and you have zero people on your team you never know who you can talk to tomorrow is going to blow up your business there could be someone on this call that by december 31st 2020 you're a chairman but on this call you're unranked understand you have to have that vision you have to believe that you know what something i don't know what it is but i believe i don't know what the hell it is but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how you just have to believe that that the results are coming that's all it is guys i was literally at a training this weekend with four chairmen, right? Manny Quinones, Matt Rosa was there. I don't know if you guys know, who, you guys have to know who Matt Rosa is, Chairman 750, right? Eric Sawyer, Manny G, four chairmen in the room. All of their trainings were the same exact thing. You got to believe. So if successful people are telling you that you have to believe, what does believe mean? What word is in belief? Lie. The word lie is in belief. You have to lie to yourself. No matter how bad it looks right now, if your business is in a recession, right? If you're trading, if you just blew your trading account, lie to yourself. Tell yourself, no, I have six figures in my trading account. Tell yourself, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman 10, right? Tell yourself these things. You have to lie to yourself. Okay. So now the next thing I want to talk about guys is, um, you know, if you, I want you guys to ask yourself how much you're edu educating yourself. E versus E. I'm going to type in the chat E versus E. All right. Are you educating yourself or are you entertaining yourself? All right. Are you educating yourself? Are you going on go live? Are you hopping on your trading sessions? Are you, you know, watching the chairman's trainings? Are you prospecting? Are you educating yourself on the skill set that it takes for you to succeed? Or are you entertaining yourself? Are you watching TV? Are you playing video games? Are you on Instagram scrolling and getting in a scroll hole for hours? I know we all do it. I know you guys do it. I know you go on your phone for five minutes to scroll and it ends up being two hours of you sitting in your bed. Are you educating yourself or are you entertaining yourself? It's time for us to get really serious with what we're doing with our lives because what we're doing now is really going to affect where we're going. And I want you guys to know that there's going to be people who are here today who are going to rank up, who are going to make money. And if you're the one that's just sitting here and questioning yourself and not doing anything about it because you're not sure if you're worthy or you're not sure if you're, you're ready to do this, then guess what? Somebody else is just going to pass you. It doesn't matter if you've been here for four or five months, somebody can join today and overpass your rank, can overpass your trading account because they decided to go all in and they don't know anything. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything. You just have to go all in and take it day by day, guys. Now, you know, I want you guys to, 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 to understand your why. I don't need anybody to tell me what their why is, but I need you right now. I want everybody to close their eyes. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes with you guys. I want everybody to close your eyes right now. I don't care if you feel dumb, be coachable and close your eyes. So, all right, ready? So I want you to imagine 
that tomorrow is that you wake up tomorrow morning and you've passed so much time in your journey within this company, within trading, building, whatever you're doing, you've passed so much time in your journey of failing and making mistakes and learning and grinding. And tomorrow you wake up and your dream life has arrived, right? Tomorrow you wake up and you're in the house of your dreams. Are you living in a penthouse? Are you living in a, in a house? Are you living in a mansion? All right, when you open your eyes, what does your room look like? What kind of bed do you have? How does your bed feel? How does your pillow feel? You wake up and you look outside the window. What view are you looking at? Are you looking at the beach? Are you looking at the city? Are you looking at a plot of land? What are you looking at? I want you guys to believe that this is real. Tomorrow, you wake up and this is what you see. This is everything that you've ever worked for, right? You get off your bed. You put your little slides on. You walk to the bathroom. How does your bathroom look? Right? What kind of material is on your sink? Is it marble? Is it granite? What is it? You hop in the shower. What does your shower look like? How does your shower feel? How does that rich shower feel? Because we all know that when we go to a hotel, a fancy ass hotel, the showers feel different, right? So how does that shower feel? You get out the shower, you go to your closet. How does your dream closet look like? How big is it? How is it structured? How are your clothes structured? Do you have a shoe closet? Is everything combined in one? How does your dream closet look like? What are you wearing today, right? You have a couple of business meetings set up. You're going to go meet up with your team. What, is your, what, is, what are you picking out your closet, right? You pick something out your closet, you put it on. How, does your, how do your clothes feel? How does the material feel? Is the material fancy? Is it nice? Is it crispy, right? How does it feel, right? You walk out your, your room. You go eat some breakfast. What, is it, what kind of breakfast are you making? Are you making the breakfast? Do you have a personal chef? How do you want your life to look like when you wake up every day? How do you feel right now? Are you feeling content? Are you happy? What, what feelings come to you with your dream life? I bet right now that nobody's even thinking of any types of feelings of fear, anxiety, nothing. Because you know that right now, everything that you've worked hard for paid off, right? You eat your breakfast, you go read your book for the day, you do like 30 minutes of reading and then you get to work, right? Now you gotta drive, you gotta drive to work. You go downstairs, you go to valet, you ask them to pull out your car. Five minutes passes by, they pull up with your car. What kind of car are you driving? Is it a Lambo? Is it a Bentley? Is it a Wraith? What is it? What kind of car are you driving? What color is it? You hop in the car. What's the material in the car? Right? What kind of chairs do you have? How does your steering wheel look like? Is it customized? What's the stitching on the chairs? How does it feel? Imagine, I want you guys to imagine your hands right now gripping on that steering wheel. All right? Gripping on that steering wheel and driving that shit. Right now, I want you guys to open your eyes, okay? How does it feel, right? I don't know about you guys, but I got goosebumps because I was thinking about my dream life while I was saying the same thing too. How does it feel, guys, to know that, you know, you just imagine your dream life. Now, I want you guys to understand that if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Seriously, if it wasn't possible, bro, if it was not possible, there is no way that you would have been able to imagine it, right? There's literally no way that you would have been able to see a physical manifestation in your mind of what you want if it wasn't possible. But now it's up to you to create your own life. All right, I don't know who on here believes in God, but I want you guys to understand that within us, we, ha we have godly powers. We're on this earth to create whatever life we want. We're not just a regular animal. We're not a lion, we're not a gazelle. We are human beings. We have created technology. We've been to the moon. We created freaking rockets, right? We created self-driving cars. We have cell phones. We have technology, and this technology is only going to get better and better. And right now, we're currently in a position where we're about to witness the world's largest financial revolution. And you're in the right place at the right time, in the right positioning, guys. So understand, guys, that you, know, you create the life that you want, but you have to go out there and get it, right? There is power in you know the law of attraction but that doesn't work without the law of action okay i want you guys to all know that everything that you just imagined seriously like i'm gonna keep saying it everything you just imagined is possible and i know i don't know about y'all but everything i just imagined i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna go get it and i know that for sure because i'm not gonna leave this earth regretting that i didn't do it how many of you guys have parents that say like 
oh my gosh, that person's so lucky. They have this much money. Oh, I don't know about me. And they blame all their circumstances on how they grew up or their job. Maybe they blame it on you, but your parents just blame their whole entire circumstances, whether it's money, their situation, or everything else. Guys, we are breaking generational wealth, uh, generational curses. I'm sorry. We're breaking generational curses. So you have to know, guys, that your parents don't know what they don't know. Meaning that whatever your parents are saying about money, whatever your parents are saying about success, if they're talking you out of your dreams, that's because they never made their own dreams come true. And look it. Guys, we all understand that in this business, you have to work on your mindset. You have to break a lot of paradigms about yourself. Okay, what does that mean? Paradigms are literally habits that we grew up with, that we literally got assigned from birth that we don't even know that we have. There's some habits that all of us each have that we don't know that we have that we have to break. Okay? So there's, there's going to be habits, there's going to be traits, there's going to be beliefs that were instilled to us since we were a little kid. And you have to break those generational curses. All right? I want you guys to realize that everything that you just imagined in your mind, the energy that you felt is at a certain type of vibration. Okay? You have to constantly carry yourself with that vibration in order to attract more. So for example, guys, money. Money is at a very, very high vibration. And a lot of people think that there's not enough money in the world. A lot of people, like may, whether you guys know it or not, there still is a lot of people in this world that think that money is, you know, and like money ends, that there is not enough money in the world for everyone. Okay, so you have to have a level of abundance to gain more money, to get more money, but it all starts within. All right, when you walk around, you need to be telling yourself, I'm made of money. I attract money wherever I go. You have to have that confidence that I attract money, right? Tell yourself I am every single day. I am the world's most powerful word. Start speaking life into yourself because that's what we do. Our words literally speak life, right? Tell yourself that whatever I say becomes because I order it, right? Because I ordered it too. Okay, so when I say, when you say I am a chairman 10, you're not asking for it. You're literally ordering the universe to bring it to you because that's how strong your words are. And the universe knows when it's time for you to receive it. Because let me ask you guys, if tomorrow morning, a million dollars hit your bank account, would you know what to do with it? Some of you probably wouldn't because you're not ready for it. You got to go through the phases. You got to work. You got to believe that you're worth it. There's probably some people on here that probably don't even believe that they can have a million dollars. And that's not your fault. That's not your fault. It's just the way that you were raised, the area that you were raised. It's crazy, guys, because this weekend there was actually a training by Eric Sawyer. Never heard of this chairman, but he was in the room. I don't know if you guys know who Eric Sawyer is. He's a Go Live educator, and he's also a chairman 10. He was talking about how he grew up in the hood in Philly. He's seen multiple friends, like, shot at gunpoint in front of him. He witnessed his dad getting shot in the head. He grew up in a very, very poor environment, Right in school as well. He grew up in a very poor environment where even money, nobody believed they can get money. Or if they were getting money, they were doing it in illegal ways. Okay, so he had to bring himself up from the situation that he was in and believe that he can get whatever he wanted. And a lot of people always say, oh, you gotta have the right mindset, you gotta have the right mindset. But they don't tell you how, and he told us how. And we all know you have to educate yourself. You gotta, I don't know, like, I used to think like, oh, I don't really know what meditation is. Like, that's for like, freaking zen people no i started meditating and my life changed guys and when you're growing it's gonna hurt like a lot of people think that growing is is amazing no you're gonna be crying you're gonna be going through shit you gotta peel back some layers that you never knew were there you gotta peel back why you're stopping yourself why you're not working why you're not being productive why you know you're not ready to go all in why you're not believing in yourself. There's a reason in there. It's not because of yourself. It's because of something that someone else told you when you were growing up. So you got to peel back those layers of yourself and ask yourself why. You got to rewrite your story. You got to rewrite your beliefs and your mindset. Guys, I said it before, like you have to re, we were, we were literally born to align with money and get whatever we wanted out of this life. But somewhere along the line, somebody told you that you couldn't and you may not remember it, but somewhere along the line, someone or something made you believe that you couldn't get there. If you grew up in a broke environment, guys, money is always there. If you grew up around poor individuals, right, if you say, I want to be a millionaire, they might look at you like you're crazy. Baby girl, go to school. Go to school, baby girl. <laughs> How can you possibly be a millionaire, right? If you grew up around those type of people, you can't listen to them. 
okay? And, you know, Eric Sawyer said something very powerful, and he said that he had to stop blaming his situation on his mom because I'm going to give you guys an example. A lot of us, for example, when I got into this business, I was like, damn, I wish I knew more stuff about business, about investments. Um, you know, my mom, I can't even, she can't even understand what I'm doing. She doesn't support me. She doesn't even like know what this is. She thinks it's fake. She just sees me, you know, grinding and everything, but she doesn't even know what I'm doing. Right. And I would blame her sometimes and be like, dude, like, I don't understand why she doesn't realize that going to school isn't the only way that you can get money. And people who go to school and make millions and millions, people who make millions and millions of dollars never even went to school. I've met, I've met people outside of this company that are millionaires that dropped out of school or never even went to high school or never even went to college. Okay. And it sounds like crazy. Like if, if your parents heard you saying that, they'd be like, dude, what the freak? Like my daughter or my son is like going in a hole, like they're going to fail. Guys understand that they don't know what they don't know. If you go to a school, let's say that you don't speak Spanish, you go to a school where they're teaching Spanish and you come home and yell at your mom for not teaching you Spanish, but your mom doesn't know Spanish. Why, why are you doing that? Your mom literally doesn't know Spanish, so she can't teach you Spanish. So you can't get mad at your parents for not teaching you things that they never even knew. Some of our parents are 40, 50, 60 years old, and they're already stuck in their ways, and they never knew anything else was possible. So what do you expect? They're, they literally don't know what they don't know. And you know what you know, so now you got to live life on your own, own terms. Guys, I dropped out of school, and <laughs> my parents are the strictest. I'm half Asian and half Middle Eastern. They're strict as hell. But I literally was like, dude, I can't afford to put myself in debt to go to school. I'm going all in with this because 175 a month is what? Is what? 175 a month to get access to a trillion dollar market, a $7.7 .7 trillion market, and to be making over $750,000 a month from hitting Chairman 750? Where else can you get this? Okay? Now, the last thing I'm going to say is it actually feels like I've been on here for a while. But we only been in here for 30 minutes. Like, I literally feel like I've been with you guys for hours. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but the last thing I want you guys to know before I hop off is you really got to be aware of what you're thinking on an everyday basis. Because the reason why you're taking the actions that you're taking is because of what you're thinking and how you're feeling. All right, everybody, I don't know if you guys know this, but I want you guys to write this down. Thoughts, all right, create feelings, which create actions, which, which create your results. All right, so thoughts, feelings, actions, results. Okay, now I'm going to break this down to you guys. You have to work backwards to get the results that you want, right? The results that you, don't, the results that you want don't just come. It, it comes from your actions, but you can't just take actions, right? You have to, your actions are linked to your feelings. So for example, your feelings like happiness, right? When you're happy, you want to smile. When you're happy, you want to compliment somebody. When you're happy, you want to dance. When you're sad, you want to cry. When you're angry, you want to fight, right? These are feelings. Now, how do you get these feelings? These feelings are linked to your thoughts, okay? So your thoughts, what are you thinking? So for example, if, if you're about to prospect somebody and you're super happy and have a lot of energy, your thoughts is going to be like, oh, I'm so happy and proud of this opportunity. I'm about to impact this person's life, da 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 You talk to them, you're super happy. You're going to get you know, the action of that, of actually going out there and talking to somebody. And that, that way you're going to get the result of prospecting somebody, of signing someone up. But, you know, if you're telling yourself like, oh man, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, why should they believe me? I don't have money. Um, I just started a month ago. Um, you know, I'm super awkward. I don't have confidence. Guess what? Those are thoughts that you're telling yourself. And those thoughts are going to create anxiety, are going to create fear, are going to create low self-confidence. And those thoughts are the reasons why you feel that way. And those, and those feelings are the reasons why you take the action of not doing anything. So when you're telling yourself those thoughts and those feelings, you're going to tell yourself, you know what, it's not worth to prospect this person. You know what, it's not worth me doing, that, doing this action. Okay? And those actions that you take or you don't take create your results. All right? So if you don't believe that you can hit P150, you're going to keep thinking that you can't. You can't. Or P600, P1000, whatever rank you're going for right now. You keep telling yourself you can't or it's hard or you know, there's something holding me back. Guess what? All those thoughts are going to create fear. It's going to create a lack. It's going to create a scarcity. You're going to not, you're not going to believe you're not going to have the vision that you're going to hit that rank or hit that balance in your trading account. And because you feel that way, you're not taking the proper actions to get yourself there and you're not getting the results that you want. So if it's anything I want you guys to take from this call today is the reason why you're not getting the results that you want I hope I can be real with you guys, but it's because of yourself. All right, so take the accountability. 
go look at yourself, look at the traits that you have and ask yourself, what's holding me back? What do I need to work on? Okay. Take responsibility for your own actions because nobody, not your upline, not your mentor, not your mom, not your dad, nobody can cr create the success that you want. Only you can do it. Only you can put in the work. Only you can believe. I can believe on, I can believe every single one of you guys can hit chairman. But if you don't believe, then you're not going to hit chairman. So you have to believe in yourself. All right. So um, I think that's pretty much I have today. I'm going to pass it over to Pre. If you guys have any, um, you know, questions, feel free to drop them. But I'm super grateful that I was be, um, able to come on this call today. I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys could just believe that, you know, it's time to put work in, guys. 2020, a lot of people are distracted by this coronavirus and think that 2020 was ruined. Those are the people who are not getting anywhere in this year. 2020 is a year of abundance. It just exposed a lot of people. It exposed a lot of people who are either going to make excuses or, or, or are going to take action. Because right now is the time where we have the most time in our life to change our direction. And the, the most millionaires are born out of a recession. So are you going to be one of them? Are you going to be that millionaire that looks back on 2020 and says, yo, COVID was happening? But I took action during that shit, and that's why I'm here today. Right? So I'm going to pass it back to you, girl. I really appreciate you. Um, I love all of you guys. I know I don't know who any of you guys are. But, you know, if you reach out to me on Instagram, I'm happy to help answer any questions that anybody has. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's all I have to say, you guys. If you guys did not take notes of this call, I don't know what you guys were doing. I just learned so much from, we've been on for what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes, you guys, and I have pages of notes. When I tell you that this girl is wise beyond her years, I mean she's wise beyond her years. Like, there's just no way, like, out of that little body, out of that, you know, like, how did all of that, she just knows what she's talking about. So, y'all, really take everything that she said into consideration. Use that to fuel you into a better you. Because at this point, you guys, there is just no room for excuses. We've heard it all. We've heard it all, you guys, and the excuses just don't work. There are people that have gone through much worse. I remember Mars posted one time that there's a chairman that was literally homeless, and now, I don't know, he's up six, seven figures. I don't know what she said. It was something crazy like that. How do you go from being homeless to being wealthy? In this opportunity, you guys, don't play with it. You can do a lot. You just have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Put in the work. And just back it up. And, you know, you might not get the reward right away, but it'll come in time when you're ready for it. Like she said, you have to be ready for that. And when you are, it's your life is going to be how you always imagined it. So with that being said, thank you, Mars. I really hope to work with you some more in the future. I really appreciate it. Um, let's get this bag, you guys. Have a good day, everyone.